things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisper here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for August 12th. Happy Thursday, everybody, and a happy birthday to my daughter, Michelle. Uh, we had very light, dark pool activity. Yeah, last night across the board. Yeah, no large new um, levels for those late, you know, those 24-hour late trades. So pretty quiet here. All right, so um, just give me a sec. Okay, so here we go with the SPY. Today we're going to be bullish above 444.25. All right, key level. We've just really been riding above this 4 EMA and bearish below 442.50. All right, for that SPY, let's head on over to the Russell. Russell, we're going to be bullish above 225. It's a major level. And we're going to be bearish below 222.50. That's another major level for the Russell. And the Qs, which have been uh, a little exciting. We are below those dark pool prints still, uh, most of them. Yeah, actually, all of them right now. All these recent prints right now. Remember yesterday, the CPI numbers came out and we did bust a move to the upside, but could not hold it for too long. So today, bullish above 367.26. All right, you'll see I have some DPs in here on the targets. Those are dark pools. They like to play print pong. So that's why you'll see a lot of times my targets will be a DP. Uh, bear below 365. Yeah, if we lose that 365 level, it could get ugly for the QQQs. All right, let's head on over to the E minis. ES, bullish above 44.50, bear below 44.35. We are in between that. The NASDAQ futures, bull above 15.052 and bear below 14.994. Yeah, that's a key level right there. See if we hold that or not. Now let's head on over to the oil futures. All right, oil seems to be making a move. I'm just gonna quickly just shoot over to the weekly chart to take a look. All right, so we are hammering here. You know, oil a lot of times does a, a V-shape recovery. Yeah, a V-shape recovery. So it looks like it is in the midst of that. Um, if we look at the daily chart, which I'll show you in just a minute, but bullish above 69.62 today and bear below 68.49. Let me just show you what I was looking at. Yep, see on this daily chart, right here, we have this hammer, high volume hammer, and there's your V-shape. Oil does that, very popular pattern. Let's head on over to gold. Futures, today we're gonna be bullish above 17.62. Looks like we're coming down to the pivot here. I'm bearish um, below that pivot, 17.44. That's why I picked that level. If we do go below right here, all right, that would be the short trade, and we are bullish right up in there. Okay, so let's go to uh, Bitcoin futures. Hold on a second, BTC, there we go. Oh, we just slipped below S2 for Bitcoin. Uh, bear below 44,500 and we just slipped below there. Uh, 44,000 is my first target on the downside. Bullish above 46,200. All right, let's go to the individual stocks. I have to say volume was light this morning. I think the, uh, the Armani suits went to the Hamptons Yep, they usually go in the summertime on um, Thursdays. Now, seriously, it really feels like volume gets lighter on those days. Let's go to open, though. Open had earnings and gapped up big time. Pretty much tagged that 100 simple moving average on the daily chart. We're going to be bullish above that. I see this pocket right here, 1750, bullish above and bear below 1680. Um, All right, 1680 for open. Let's go to MU Micron. Oops. Micron, big volume. Yeah, crash down to the 250 simple moving average. Look at that brown moving. Yep, it's it's a magnet. 
Will it be a rubber band? Will it bounce back up? Bullish above 73.50, or will it be a drop and drop lower? Looks like it wants to drop lower right now. Bear below 72.50. We are below this 8 a.m. volume. Okay, let's go to S P C E. We're going to be bullish above 28 and bear below 27 for S P C E. That was a good whisper yesterday. Pfizer. Pfizer, we're going to be bullish above 47. Remember, we had those dark pull prints at 46, 7.4 million. Looks like we want to go down and test that. Yeah, if we go below 45.50, we're going to be bearish for Pfizer. AMD has been consolidating. Yeah, had a pullback and now sideways consolidation. Is it, you know, does it want to go up higher now after this pullback? Or is it going to drop down? All right, waiting patiently, but today for the day trade, bullish above 109.20. So we did have a recent dark pull print at 19.06. And bear below 106.50 for AMD. PLTR. All right, Palantir. Look at that move up. We're going to be bullish. Well, it just went above our bull and hit two targets. But the next level, 24.50, that's your next entry. It does push higher, yep, and we have um, 24.74 is R3. Yeah, that's a pretty big resistance. If we go above that, then this thing can really shoot much higher. All right, but that should be some resistance there. Uh, bear below, 23.25 for a retracement trade. And Bank of America been a superstar looks like it wants to go higher bullish above 4237 i don't normally use that level to 3 8 level but we had some camarillas right just below it yeah let me show you yeah normally i normally like to use a stronger level but here's the deal if it goes above 37 right here is this camarillas at 34 i put my stop just below that Okay, so I still don't want to give it a lot of room, but it looks like it would have good support if it broke above that. And uh, bear below 41.75. Okay, we have Apple next. So Apple, another one, tweezering. Yeah, going sideways. And if I just go like this, fix my trend line to tab. Yeah, we are in a big wedge right here. But we have big dark pool levels. These are big, 146.52 and 144.65, like seven million levels, seven million on each. So we'll be bullish above that, 146.75. I would say this is more of a swing trade. Bear below 144.50 unless we move, yeah, unless we move today. I can't stay in this tight spot for too long, so keep your eye on Apple. All right, until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret, can you keep it? My secret. My secret.